Hello guys, welcome back to another taste test and we are trying some, well I'm trying some body care today too. So um, before we get started with eating, let's go ahead and check out how the strawberry lemon scrub went and the strawberry hand moisturizer went. First thing we're gonna try out in this taste test slash beauty test is the strawberry lemon sugar scrub. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and then I'm gonna use the strawberry lemon moisturizer on top. Now, one thing I wanted to share with you guys is that they're all sealed, so make sure when you buy it that it's sealed. So you just peel it off like this. Mmm, that smells good, I wanna eat this. Um, and I also am seeing, well, I'll show you guys when I pour it into my hand, so here we go. So you guys can see the actual strawberry seeds in there. It's pretty gritty and the sugar too. So I just used the scrub. It is definitely a thicker scrub with those strawberry seeds. But for the back of my hands, it was fine. It didn't like hurt or anything. Just be careful on more sensitive areas of your skin. Definitely don't do it on your face. That would be way, way too much. But like thicker patches of skin, like your elbows, your knees, things like that. It smells really pleasant. It's not overbearing whatsoever. And I can still smell it on my hands right now. And my hands look really soft and I don't know. They look nice. I like it. So next up. We're gonna go ahead and try the Strawberry Lemon Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. And I haven't even seen what it looks like. Cute. All right, let's go ahead and give this a little smell test. So you guys can see how thick it is. That smells so good. Makes me wanna have strawberry lemonade right now. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. And it's just like all the other ultra moisturizing hand creams. It's just really creamy. It soaks in, but it takes a minute. So at first my hands are gonna be a little slippery, but let me just say the scent is definitely not overbearing at all. It's very light, which is what I wanted. Um, it definitely smells like strawberry. It smells like lemon and it's just a really nice hand cream for the summer. I might have to buy another one because they will run out, but yeah, this is how my hands look. Two thumbs up for both of these. They both smell amazing and they work really well. So now to the taste test of foods. So now that my hands are smelling nice and they're clean, I am ready to dig in. And um, Benson just woke up from his nap and he's a little cranky, so show him some love in the comments. <laughs> Poor guy. Anyways, um, the first thing we're gonna try is the legume and spinach salad. This makes a massive salad. I poured the entire contents in here and I did put the dressing on it and it looks great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in and try, hopefully I can try a little bit of everything. I just like there's a lot of different things in there, but yeah. it smells really good actually. Mmm. It's really fresh, like tons of different flavors, crunches, textures, like everything. And by the way, just to remind you guys what's in here while Tim's chewing, there's green lentils, garbanzo beans, roasted cauliflower, spinach, apples, and pecans with a red wine shallot vinaigrette. Now that vinaigrette, phenomenal. I think this, this salad's great. I like, love that salad too. I think it's really good. Like I love garbanzo beans and there's, they didn't go light on them. There's like a bunch of them in there. Um, capers, you know, walnuts, um, but that that vinaigrette is really good. That's saying yeah. a lot. I, I, I'm like surprised that you really... Rubbed off on me, I guess. I know. It's so, <laughs> it's really good. I agree and I think it has, like Tim said, it's just packed with different flavors and has a lot of um, bulk from the garbanzo beans and the lentils. So it's gonna be a really filling salad and the freshness, the crunch, everything's so good. Yeah. So yeah. 
All right, next up, let's try these potato chips. I'm dying to try these. Have you seen them? I've seen them, yeah. They look just like Pringles. <laughs> Go ahead, take a pic. Right. You want one, Vincent? Oh, yummy. Let's see what Vincent thinks. Oh my god, those are salty. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. Mm. I like them. Mmm, me too. They taste a lot like the original Pringles. Mm -hmm. Um, but they, and, and I think you said it in the taste test, but they're a little bit thicker. Yeah. But not like really thick. Like they still this have that. This is the taste test. I meant in the hall. <laughs> um, but I think in the hall you said they were thicker. And, and they are, but it's not like too thick. It's not like a really hard, to, it's still, it's like nice and crisp and it's great. I like it. I agree. I, and it does taste like the original Pringles. Um, a little thicker. And it t definitely tastes like potato, which I appreciate because I love yeah. potatoes. And when I can actually taste potato, like if you guys live in California or places that there is an In-N-Out, Nevada, I think there's a few places. In-N-Out French fries taste like real potatoes and those taste like real potatoes too. So very delicious. I love these. I think they're a big hit. I agree. Yeah. They're good. Woohoo, we have Pringles at Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next up, I want to try this cold brew almond macadamia latte. This looks so good, and I'm just going to shake it up like it recommends. Okay, we're going to go ahead and give this a whirl. Again, this is vegan. Oh my gosh, it smells like chalk. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Does I, it? I think I'm going to love this, I think. Uh, yeah, it smells very, very coffee. Oh, it smells so good. What do you think, honey? It's strong. First thing it I know. It smells strong. It's strong cold brew coffee, so that's gonna get me a double thumbs up. I love me some cold, some uh, strong cold coffee, <laughs> cold brew. Yeah, it's uh, it's very strong. Um, I drink coffee now, but like I haven't historically really drank it at all. Um, but that one's pretty strong for me. I would probably stay away from that one personally. Um, just because I would be probably bouncing off the walls. Um, <laughs> but I am sure like 90% of the people watching are like, oh, I love coffee. That's, I'm gonna go, you know, buy it out at the store. And so you'll probably love it. It's got a pretty decent flavor, I will say that. Totally, and that's what I was gonna, I'm glad you said that because although it definitely has a strong coffee flavor, it's super smooth. It has the creaminess from the um, almond macadamia dairy-free milk in here so i really think that the balance of this is perfect i like tasting my coffee when it's in coffee i don't like tasting just creamer i know some people love that but personally i like to taste the coffee and just like a subtle hint of whatever flavored creamer is in there and this really hits the mark i am so impressed i'm so excited i'm definitely going to be buying these more often and because it's summer these cold brews just I will pick this anytime over like a hot coffee when it's 100 degrees outside, so. She ain't lying, she yeah. will. <laughs> <laughs> Double thumbs up, I really love that. Um, okay, now we're gonna try the cauliflower jalapeno dip. This is interesting. I am not a hater of cauliflower alternative things like rice cauliflower and stuff. Some people just despise it, but it's pretty innovative if you ask me. So my first impression, just looking at it, it looks a little bit waterier than I was expecting it to. What yeah. do you think? Is it jiggly a um, little bit? It's hard to say. Once we dip our chip in, I'm gonna use the pita bite crackers for these. So here we go. We are armed and ready to dip. Okay, maybe not as watery as I was thinking, but let's see. Tastes quite a bit like cauliflower. Does it? I think so. I'm gonna try another one. Get, I'm just gonna get you a big scoop. You taste any of the jalapeno? I I'm do. Not, I, I didn't. Have... I didn't. So I'm gonna get a massive bite of this stuff and let you know. I just taste like a very mild little, smallest little heat on the sides of my tongue. Um, nothing like crazy, but the jalapeno flavor eats a little bit. There's a little bit of a little bit of the, the flavor of it. Definitely not the heat. I mean, 
You saw how big of a bite I just took of that stuff? No, not and that it's like, spicy, just like that jalapeno, you know warmth, what I mean? Warmth, like, yeah, yeah, the warmth. It's not like bit. spicy or anything. It just, I can just barely taste it. My tongue's yeah. sensitive to you that, but. Do you wanna try it? Uh -uh. Okay. Um, yeah, honestly, I think Benson could have it no problem and it won't be like too hot for him or anything. Like oh, yeah. That. So, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's anybody out there that, that should have a problem with the heat. Um, and after a second bite, as you said, it definitely tastes like cauliflower. I taste it. There's three different cheeses in there. Did you taste the cheese? Um, probably. Yeah, you're, I probably did. Okay, it's, um, what is there? Cream cheese, ricotta, and parmesan. So, I mean, it's not, it's nothing to be, like, jumping up and down about, personally. Like, I am mad about it, but... I think you, what you could do with this is add it to a recipe to make something sure. better. You know what I mean? Like having like a cauliflower alternative, you can add it to, I don't know what you could add it to. You guys have so many good ideas and um, I don't know. I keep thinking like stuffed shells. I was, ricotta, I was but thinking that also. Were you? That's funny. Yeah. I was thinking the exact same thing. I'd probably add more uh, cauliflower to it just to make it a little thicker and stuff. But anyways, it's okay. Not my favorite. I liked it. It was not my favorite, but um, I didn't dislike it. I thought it was a nice light little dip. Um, if you're if you're hungry, you want to have a snack, and you don't necessarily want to dig into something that's really unhealthy, it's a great alternative to, to something like that. Cool. All right. Then the last items that we're trying, this is a little taste test today, are the fruise balls. Benson wants to try these. So we're gonna try the peanut butter jelly. Let's do the peanut butter jelly first. Okay, are we trying both? Yeah, of All course. Right, I'm just gonna get this one open then. Okay, Benson, here you go, honey. Peanut butter jelly ball. Okay. All right, let's do it. <gasps> mm. There's mm. real jelly in here, just FYI. <laughs> what do you think? Mmm. Kind of tastes like cookie dough. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I think they're delicious. <laughs> let, me, let me finish this bite and get some of that jelly in there because I didn't get jelly on my first mm, bite. I don't the jelly is good. It's really good. I think they're delicious. What do you say? They're protein mm. balls. Energy uh, balls. Energy okay. balls. Okay. Well, I was going to say they kind of taste like they have like a, a protein powder like flavor to it. Um, but there is no protein but, powder in here. Look it. There's dates, peanuts, coconut, apple juice, pear puree, strawberry puree, elderberry juice, and pink salt. That's it. Okay. Well, that's good. I, I'm just kind of like mad with it. Um, if I were to look, think of it as like a treat, I'd be like, I'll probably pass. Um, if I'm just thinking of it as like a protein source, then I'd be like, oh, this is really good. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just, it says energy balls, so I think they're just to get you through. Um, if you like have a small lunch or if you just need a snack in the middle of the day, these are like just to get you through to dinner or have them for breakfast, whatever. I'm sure you can have them whenever you want, but. I can see that. Let's try these ones. This okay. is the chocolate hazelnut one. Mmm, there's chocolate inside. I think I prefer this one. Um, the hazelnut, I feel like it just kind of balances out that kind of weird, like I said, protein flavor, whatever I was describing. I feel like the hazelnut kind of balances it a bit better than the than the jelly one. I like the peanut butter jelly one better. <laughs> I guess you're just gonna have to try it for yourself and what do you like let better? us know. This one or the peanut butter jelly one? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Well, no tiebreakers here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, these are good. I think they're, I mean, if you really want something that's um, going to just give you a little pick-me-up instead of coffee, try them out. They're not bad at all. They taste like, they're soft like cookie dough, and um, we'll see how much energy they give us later. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we could use it. All right, guys, that's it for this week's taste test. It was a short little one, but... I hope you guys got good information out of it. I know we all learned a little bit more about the TJ products this week. Um, please give this video a like and subscribe mm -hmm. if you haven't already.
and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!